Hi, I'll show you how to use the Viz Easy procedural outlets and switches for 3DS Max Lite version. In the Create panel, we select Viz Easy Switches. We click on the surface where we want to insert the socket. The socket will be automatically inserted on this surface. We set the height at which we want to place the socket, in this case 30 centimeters. We can now duplicate them by holding shift and dragging up. Let's clone them as a copy. We set its height to 130 centimeters above the floor. In the light version, there is a maximum of two sockets available in the frame. We change the number of sockets in the frame from one to two. We set the frame in a vertical position. Let's use the flip function to mirror the entire frame around the pivot point. Now let's choose the type of individual sockets. In the light version, we have a choice of a blank panel, a single switch, a double switch, and a plug socket. In the first socket, we select the double switch. Using the sliders or selecting on box, we can set the position of the individual switch. We leave one switch in the on position. In the second socket, we leave a single switch. We also set it to the on position. OK. Now let's work on the look of the sockets at the bottom. We also set it up as a double socket. In both sockets we select the plug socket. We can also use the flip function. The light version doesn't have the create hole function which automatically cuts a hole in the wall behind the plug sockets. So let's create a box that will allow us to cut out such a hole. We place the box in the middle of the frame, set the appropriate dimensions and slightly recess it into the wall. Now, using the boolean modifier, we cut a hole in the wall. Now all that remains is to set the colors of the frames and sockets. In the light version, only white and black color are available. We can choose different colors for the frame and socket. For the switches above, we will choose a white frame and black elements inside. Let's add more sockets to the wall on the left. We can place them the same way as the ones we just did. But we can also copy the current sockets by holding shift and dragging. Let's copy this socket as an instance. Let's rotate 90 degrees. We place it near the wall. Now, use the glue to the wall function to position the socket perfectly on the wall. Because we copied this socket as an instance, we can now customize the appearance of both sockets at once. We also clone the socket from above, this time as a copy. We place it on the wall in the same way as the previous one. By cloning as a copy, when setting the appearance we only change it in this specific socket. And that's all the features available in the light version. Visit viz.easy.pro and download it for free. If you need even more possibilities and would like to create sockets even faster and easier, check out the pro version.